Hello and welcome to my allotment journey. My name is Sarah and I'm so pleased that you clicked on this link to have a little bit of nosy about what I get up to at the allotment. I've had my allotment for two years but I never documented it apart from pictures. I took hundreds and hundreds of pictures but I never videoed it. But I'm two years in now and I want to show you my allotment because I'm going to make some big, big changes and you are going to help me. You're going to advise me because I'm a novice. A novice, novice at best, to be honest. But yes, um, please join me at the allotment. Oh, great. Let's see if we can get some outdoor jobs done today. I've got a bag on. Yes, I have. You're right, because it was raining and then it just stopped. So um, it was raining, so I was working. Just wanted to show you. So if you remember last time we finished off those obelisk things there. Right, so while you weren't looking, because, you know, you don't need to see me do any more of those, do you? I started, made a start on the other one, so there's one in this bottom corner here. All done, ready to go. This is the worst bit. I hate doing this. This is the boring, boring, boring bit. Right, okay, so bring you, just bring you up to speed. Um, I wasn't going to bother filming any of this, because I was just going to do it, and then just going to show you when I finished it, but I came across a problem, okay. That little bit there, that corner, is sand. Look at it. Sand. So I've dug out a load of sand and I've got that big um, co cocoa grow compost. Core compost. C-O-I-R compost, right? It's a condensed block. I showed it when I bought it. And you add water, it's supposed to expand. Right, so I've dug out tons of that sand, as you can see there. Tons of sand dug out. I can use it for other things. I've been where where, the, where I've had dips. I've took the, the weed membrane up and put the sand down underneath it, hoping to stop puddles. There's a few more I can do over there. But yeah, I can use the sand for that. But I'm going to add water to this. I've never used it before, so well, I've used the little tiny ones, but not these big ones. So let's see how this works. Right. So I've got the hose pipe because the water switched on. Let's just give it a soak. I presume this is what you do. When you see it on the adverts, it, um, it always looks like it just expands right in front of your eyes. <laughs> like magic. I suspect it's going to be a little bit more hard work than that. Gosh, this is it's absolutely solid. I mean, it expands to 75 litres. If that's not enough, I'll just buy a bag of compost and get Mick to drop it off. Oops. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's quite soggy, but it's also quite dry at the same time in there. So I'm going to just let um, nature take its course and I'm just going to let it soak up overnight. I'm not going to do anything in that bed at all until um, tomorrow because there's no point. It's soggy, it's mushy and I need it to, to all expand. Would I buy that stuff again? Oops, I'm just tripping over and breaking my neck. Would I buy that stuff again? For ease of getting it here, yes. Okay, so don't forget I don't drive, so if I want to carry stuff here, can't be too heavy so I can carry that here mm. yeah you know what I, I'm gonna I don't know how it grows it might not grow great stuff who knows um but that'll be the test won't it because that bed will have a, a completely different soil or growing medium sorry than um the other ones won't it so the test is in how it grows I suppose it might if it didn't expand a bit more overnight it might need just a top of some compost or something but I am doing steps here actually so I might, I could use the soil from there. Actually, I could combine those two jobs. Oh, thinking on my feet, thinking on my feet. Going to combine those two jobs. Going to make a step there, use the soil that I dig out and stick it on there as well. 
there you go. Virtually a genius. A gardening genius. Who, who would have even thought that? Oh, right, I was just mending um, this, the polytunnel. You know where it ripped? And I thought, oh, you know what? I could show you. I could show you how I fixed it. Remember, it tore a hole there. So I put that um, plumber's uh, pipe stuff on there. But also, I, I fixed it with some tape. So I've got this polytunnel fixing tape stuff. Um, I use it for everything. <laughs> I use it like a seller tape here. Let's be honest. If you get a tape anywhere, you just use it like a seller tape. Oh, what I'll do is I'll just show you how I'm going to fix this side. Yep, can you see a couple of tears there? So let's get to work fixing it. Okay, so the first thing that I did was to clean the area. I'll do it again because you didn't see and I thought you might want to see. So I cleaned it. These are a really good, strong wipes. Just need to clean the area that the tape's going to go on. Okay. I might put the tape around there as well because it has pulled on that a little bit. Right, so there you go. I've done the, I have done, actually done the same inside already, so I don't need to do that twice. Let me just re-wipe it and then just wipe it clean. Wipe it dry, sorry. Okay, and then we're going to get the tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tape on the underside, so underneath here. So I think it's called polytunnel or some such thing like that tape. I just got it off eBay. So right, it's quite a big hole. So I need to make sure the piece is long enough. Give it a snip. It's difficult to see. That's why I'm talking you through it. So I'm just going to lift it up and put it on over the holes. Oops. Sticking it to everything as I go. Obviously, sorry you can't see that, but I'm just sticking it on the, this side of the hole, okay. You can't see, but the holes are there and there, and that tape fully covers it. And then we're gonna go outside. Okay, the outside bit, same again. Get your tape. Can't really see how long it is, where we're there and there, okay. Okay, right, cut your tape. You've got the sticky bit poking through the holes as well from the bit underneath. Okay, and then I'm gonna put, tell you what, I'm gonna cut that loop off. I'm not gonna use that loop because it just pulled on it and will make it worse. I'm gonna go from this, down this side as well, just to cover that seam over the hole. I'm gonna put another piece on as well. All right, I'm gonna put another piece on. Okay. Right, we'll see how that goes. If it starts peeling off, um, what I'll do is I'll get silicon. I'll put the tape on underneath and then I'll just whack a load of silicon sealant on there and that'll do the job. It's just to stop the water coming in because I use this as, um, use it as a shed, don't I? I don't just use it as a polytunnel. I use it for somewhere to shelter from and somewhere to do my job. But for now, you know what? That'll do. I think that's repaired. Right, it's actually another day. I had to go when I'd finished doing that um, thing down there. Okay, so it's another day and oh, the sun keeps coming out. I don't, I don't, I'm so happy the sun keeps coming out. I can also see grey clouds, but every now and again the sun pops out. So anyway, right, so what I decided to do on the way here, I got a small bag of compost. Um, and carted it here just because I just wanted to finish off that last one there I just wanted to finish that off stick I mean it swelled out really well it really has it's um it's really puffed up and so yeah I'm going to recommend that actually after, after it soaked up all the the moisture that I put there <laughs> through the hose pipe it's really really gone okay but I'm just going to put the compost in as well and mix it give it a bit of a mix so I'll do that I'll do the tower uh, you don't need to see me do it because I've done it so many times. You, you know the score. I'll just do it and then we'll figure out what the next job will be. It's done. Um, obelisk number five is done now. And thank you for the tip. A few of you told me to soak my sweet pea seeds in water for 24 hours. I've done that. So if the others don't grow and this one does, 
this one's got a lot going for it it's got all the new compost all the new core stuff it's got a lot going for it and good sandy drainage so this one might just be the best one should we see the other ones are just in soil just stuck them in <laughs> just flung them in but yeah thank you for that tip um it was too late for me to do the other ones but it was in time for me to do these next two right i think we need to finish the job we started on the last video which is to paint the um the herb thing that i made out of a palette the hi uh, sorry let me just move you sorry i hate the squeaking that it does i'm sorry about that but i don't want to turn you off because i'm just going to paint this now I'm just going to give this a couple of coats of paint Right, you all know what painting looks like. So imagine that you've just seen me paint all this and it's magically transformed just on the first coat of one side into this. Okay, it's painted now. I don't bother painting them in the inside of it. It's gonna, on the inside it's gonna rot anyway. Um, but the soil will go up to there, so it will, you know, cover this color of the wood. But I'm thinking of putting it there. Right, what we need to do, we need to have a walk up to it and see what it looks like because I'm thinking of putting it there at the end of that slopey bit and just next to where I'm going to put the step so that's just what we'll do just have a walk by okay we'll have a walk by and we'll see how it feels approaching it okay with imagine it with plants in with a few names of the plants written on the front of the wood let's have a look right so let's just walk up minding our own business here we go oh look looking at the weeds under there great but let's look at the strawberries that they are daily just coming along that is growing like billy out I need to cut it down that's a big long straggler. I don't want it to go further than there, really. Okay, right, just keep looking, pretending we're not noticing. Oh, that's lovely. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, oh, that's a nice pathway, isn't it? How does that feel? Yes, herbs. Oh, look, I'll pick herbs as I come and sit down in my spots here. Right, so how did that feel? Did that feel like it's in the right place? What do you reckon? Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll put it there. I'm going to get a couple of steaks. Not the eating kind, the hammering in kind. And I'm going to stake either side of there and screw it on. You know, I like a drill. There you go. Let's go and get the drills. Let's go and get this, the drill. Let's go and get the stakes. You don't half waste a lot of time searching for things that you've put down, honestly. <laughs> I've looked about 20 times for my sledgehammer and I keep finding it, putting it down and then refinding it again. Right, I've got it now. So, this is the only one of these long ones that I've got left now. So, Gonna use that honey to order some more when I've got some money. I'm gonna get paid next month maybe, order some more. Um but I have got this one and I've got a, a chair leg. <laughs> an, old, an old chair leg that's like this, fairly long. So I'm just gonna bang it in and then I'm gonna level it by eye. You know, I've not got a spirit level, we'll do by eye and have a look at it and see what we think. So yeah, first job, let's hammer this steak in. Gonna do a couple more bashes of that one. One sec. You know what? I think that's firm enough in the ground. That's not gonna go anywhere. All it's holding is the herbs and it's got the, the hill behind it, the little bump behind it to keep it from going that way anyway. I'm just gonna drill some holes in this first bit of wood, the post. See if we can get some screws in. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's one. Oop. Yeah, with one it will just swing round. I've got three, there was a hole already drilled in there, so there's three in here, we'll see how that goes. Okay. I 
know you all hate that noise. <laughs> right, okay, so far so good. Let's have a look at that. I can always stick another post in. Let's take you off there, sorry. Always have to apologise for a bit wobbly to take you off there, but there you go, there's one post in. Right, before I put the other one in, I'm just going to see if I can make sure it's level enough. I did put a stone under this end, I don't want it sitting directly onto the floor. I want the water to be able to get out of those holes and any gaps at the bottom. I don't want it to get waterlogged. Right, but looking at that, it needs to be possibly a little bit, little bit up. And I have got a log at the bottom to shove. That's looking a little bit better. Maybe even a little bit more. You can't judge it by the floor because it's a bit wonky, but if I can just lift this end up somewhat, then at least it looks straight, doesn't it? Okay, that's much better. I'm just going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to drill that in, then I'll come back to you. Whoa, hold the front page. The sun has decided to make an appearance. It's sunny, oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Oh, I feel like I should take my shirt off, but I don't want to tempt fate, don't want to tempt fate. Right, we've got that up now. Okay, we've got that up. It's looking okay. I've got some compost. I've got half, that half bag left from the thing that we did earlier this morning so i probably haven't got enough herbs to fill the whole thing anyway but what i do want to do is i want to dig out oh sorry it's a bit of a spin round there i do want to dig out the chives and put those in the top hopefully they'll grow they had beautiful flowers on last year i actually bought it for the flowers um that can go on the top i've got quite a few tall tall ones actually they can go on the top row we could at least get that done couldn't we What's that? what other job did we say over oh, this step right so now We've got this planter here because this is defining our little area, isn't it? It's defining our, oops, sorry. It's defining our seating area, our chill out zone, the place where we cook, okay, is here. And so now we've created a place where we can have this step. So we can have a step up here, maybe onto that bit or maybe onto there, onto there. I don't know, but that's the wood I'm going to be using to create the step. I've got a bag and a half of stones i've got some um like slate uh you know slaty bits come in a bag of that it's like gravel it's like stone but it's slate you know tumbled slate or something like that um so i've got a bag of that come in um because i could just mix it so they're not all the same there's the pass from the other day doesn't that look fabulous last from last week i think it was was it right but there you go herb thing let's let's put some things in Make sure we put the labels with them because I'm going to be writing on the front. I'll be writing the names of the herbs on the front. Not today. That's another job. But yeah, this is a garden. Let's do a gardening job. Hey, let's do a gardening job. Okay, I've dug the chives out. I've probably killed them. You know how it is. Um, oh, they don't have smell of chives, obviously. Right, okay. I'm just going to roll my sleeves up because of the sun. Oh, I've got my shirt on back to front. Inside out, I mean. Oh, you never told me. I've been doing this all this time with my shirt on inside out. You never even told me, I bet you saw my label on the back. Right, okay, one sec. That's better. Right, now it's on the right way around. And my sleeves are rolled up because it's sunny, sunny, sunny. Well, hazy sun, it's warm anyway. Right, okay, let's get some compost in here. Should we just pop a few little stones in? I know these are a bit expensive to be putting in the bottom of here, but I just, there's just a bit of a gap. I just want to fill with stones. Only a few. See the little stones fall out. It's that, it's that big but tiny little stones. But if we can just put those stones in, that's good. You know what? Should put a handful of that so satin um, sand in. Might as well from that uh, from the bit. I won't turn you because it makes a noise. But I'm just going over to the sand. We dug sand out, didn't we? Out that hole in the corner. So a few stones. bit of sand on top why not let's get creative let's get some drainage going on okay a little bit of sand my own home dug or allotment dug sand okay chai um chives have this wedge here soil compost oops let's stick that there let's get some compost underneath Okay. The 
this is going to get messy before it gets cleaned before it gets tidy again these chives might even be a bit too big for here might might just plant some of them and put the others back in the border we'll see right but for now we'll definitely have chives there okay got the chives in there got another tall one here sage right i think that can go there let's just have a plan where these can go some of them are quite tall aren't they i do have a large rosemary don't i so hang on one sec oh that sun is hot hang on right oh i need oh there's a spider on that one. Oh, that's not got a label on it Ugh. got to try and figure out what that one is just says quality herbs anyway that could probably go there it's not going to be that tall that one is a whopper that can probably go there if, it's, if it'll fit we've got all these little ones that can go what's that one time don't want to overdo it do we don't want to overfill it two i think two on each one what do you reckon two different sort and then down there we can have that other time and what's that one? Oh, at rosemary looks a bit looks a bit hard done to that one actually i probably could fit a chive down there I've got um, fennel, so I've come fit fennel down there, and I could probably put another chive down there. Oh no, another chive up there actually. No, let's not have chives on the set. Let's put stick that one there. Sorry, and stick a. Let's split them. Let's split them. Let's have some chive there, and then some chives there. Don't matter that it doesn't quite fit. Okay, sorry. Don't even know if you can see that. There you go, that's the plan. One sec. I haven't got enough compost to do it all, I don't think, but I'll give it a good go. We've done the top layer, let's give it water. I put strulch on to hopefully stop any pesky slugs and snails. We have got a lot of big birds here, as I've said before, and they tend to take all the slugs and snails, so we don't suffer too badly with them. But this strulch will help hold the moisture and help, hopefully, because it's nice and thick, stop the slugs and snails. I actually got the idea from Emma's Allotment Diary on YouTube. Great channel, go over and watch it, Emma's Allotment Diary. Loads of great little hints and tips on there. We did it, it's finished, it's complete. I managed to grab some soil from this bed here just to pop in there to finish it off so that we could get them all planted. Right, so this is a good point now to say please press the like if you haven't already and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because that makes me ever so happy every time I see that subscriber count go up just a little bit more so thank you so much and please comment I love your advice has been so so good honestly sweet peas soaking them who knew 
I'll, I'll, I'll do that moving forward. So thank you so much for watching. And what will we do next time? I definitely need to give that another coat of paint when we get some more dry days, okay? Give it a whack some more paint on that just to really make sure it's nice and bright and a solid colour and I need to write the names of the herbs. So thank you so much and I'll see you next week.